Let's try is the solution to the Timbersaw. Like, Dyer yes, he has the new. On theory, he has the new damage for Timbersaw, but now, oh my god, you add a Morphling into this situation. Playing the uh, Timbersaw, we got Afu playing Earth Spirit, Ajit on the Morphling, Nova on the. Uh, hold on, Dominic, you're gonna see a fight in the river. Vilo just dropping the Havoc instantaneously. He's gonna get chased away. Does he have Crystal back? No, he didn't get it. He got his uh, nuke, and that means he's dead. Nana got himself the Whirling Death. Kyo just runs by, also wanting to feed. But uh, he won't survive through that. The rune went track. We don't usually see that. But top lane, this is where things should get a bit spicy, especially between Nana and Velo. Oh, Burrow Strike is available. Are they gonna go on Ryzen? Oh, they kind of hit him once. They ignore him. They want the Bristol back, and with Rolling Death should be a very easy kill. Forced, uh, he's already stacking people up, but I think he's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> There's nowhere for him to run. Uh, Silver Light. Uh, hopefully we'll get our answer soon because I don't think you all could kind of sit here and farm all day. You're much, you much rather have a have a morphling that is farming instead of a lich. Oh, oh, actually they do get the house spirit to onto the IO, so let's let's yeah they talk to him about this like why concentrate so much on Lashrak? It's just what they like to do. So they will start grouping up once Velo gets a mech. But in this case where they're blocking down really hard. And right now they're going on to him here. We have the Shadow Word that will invade, doing so much damage to Velo. But of course, all the spike charges coming out. Nana could actually uh -oh. go down into Velo. Uh oh. Well, Whirling Blue is doing a lot of damage, but he's being healed up, overcharged, providing uh -huh. quite a bit of regen as well. And now they're going to turn things around, maybe going for a secondary kill. He is somewhat slowed down. They're going to get the tether movement speed and look for maybe a tower dive. Velo, unable to find anybody. Warlock is under tower right now, but pretty hard dive. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, simultaneously oh, looks like MVP able to smack. I'm not sure how quickly he's going to get a mech actually at this at this rate because uh, they're, they're really used to getting these ancient stacks. Like very few teams would just block this out. In this case, they don't really have a good way of securing stacks. And actually, oh, last track getting a kill into Afu in the jungle looks like a <laughs> spin. Taunt. Yeah. The electric pony chase him across Radiant's the map, able to set up a kill. And one thing that Lashrek still has going for him is that he's quite fast. We've basically yes. seen this. Rising up top, gonna feed a kill here to Nana. Now that's the one interaction we haven't really talked about, but Io, very low HP hero, strength hero. And Elaine is trying to go for the road to get the kick. Kyo, TP help is gonna come in, but Kyo pops the fair fight. Will be still alive. Now I'm gonna use his ult, trying to get whatever damage he can to Apu. He could try for a turnaround here, and Apu should be going down. Wait for still has a wave form in a bit, but probably won't commit to huh. this. He oh. with his uh, three points into Diabolic Edict. Yeah, uh, trying to take down Tower too. Kang's gonna come in, but he's very low in HP. Girl strike. strike will hit. Okay. Velo dropping low. Earthspinner will go on to two heroes. I just dropping pretty low, and here comes Chakra. that Chakra. Gonna get the kill. Oh, that shall be it. I am almost. Yeah, he's, you can see right here, bottom lane. They're gonna put the pressure in it now as Ajit and Alpha put this walking to their beast. Okay, stun is available. Oh, oh my and crush! Oh. The crush. And that should be a kill, but I say that Sanky's gonna come in. Fabi now suddenly wishes he has a hood. Will spring himself out for the wait for him. Will take him down. Kang look for, looking for a little bit more here. Out of mana is Jubu. He doesn't have that teleport, but he is moving. Middle very lane. Fast. Nana almost dead. Actually, well died to the Lashrak. And they will take tower off the die boxer, and he's coming to the bottom lane. He's gonna walk through a couple of dire wards. Let's see if he's gonna get burst down. I think Io is the person that you want to burst down. Cop Kang, a <laughs> lot of trouble, and the Disco Pony. Like, oh, what a suicide! Oh, nice. Did that actually happened. Oh my god. Okay, that happened. Io. Yeah. Kyo, I think, could have actually prevented that if he kept toggling his ult on and off. Oh, hold on, thought. I'll explain that mechanic later. As rockets drop up top. Nova will save himself. In fact, they might turn things around against Febby. He is uh, Shadow Worked up, so... This will be a very important kill. Febby is very close to his Lincoln. He'll be feeding a little bit more to Nana. Meanwhile, simultaneously. But uh, that neutral deny was great. It was. And... Alright, so this is where they start to pick up a bit more momentum. They relocate to the top. Finding X Nova, very tasty kill. And they will get the chaotic offering as well. So Febby... Alright, he's somewhat pr He's pretty much been stuck between the 1.6 to 1.8k mark. Like he okay now the real cave is gonna expire. Radiance but well, you can see the link, like the fatal bonds damage, what he can do. You can almost kill Ryzen. The key thing is that they have the mech available. Oh, oh, oh. Can he actually pop it? No! Just the burst! <laughs> nice mech, bro. Fabi's gonna get rolled on as well. He does get off the crush, but here comes the Pindasaw man. Fabi oh, taking Fabi. quite a bit of damage. Blinding really light. nice blinding light pushing everybody back. And I think that you can see right now, Fabi blink and smoke right now. They're gonna go straight for it. They even get the call in. What are you gonna call? Oh, hold on, Nana. 
Oh, an old man calling fuel to his death as well. They got the rock, and they were trying to run it off screen. Yeah. Dead. Well, we do have Velo in the fight, and he has mech, but nobody too mech. You know, Fabi's being chased down by three heroes. Wait for him forward. Kang's gonna have Burrow Strike, but he's, I think, slightly out of range. No, it doesn't matter. It's not necessary. So, three dead. Very well, just ever more so reliant on QO for damage output, which they are hard pressed to for damage right now. Oh. oh Ryzen, no. in fact, is done, and he is dead. Yeah, he just debuted that fight, but they know that if they don't get the right jump, they lose the fight, they lose the advantage, and it will cost them objectives. So, oh, Burrow Strike to start the fight. He's in a lot of trouble. He's fine. Never Binding mind. Light. Okay, the mech's gonna come through. Binding Light doing a lot of work, but here comes the Inferno. Oh, Waiting no, forward and Ash. Ash it, and now he's going to rise and rise and he's gonna get blown up as well. Velo trying his best to chase down a couple of heroes. Move on Q on the other side of the fight. He's gonna get bursted down regardless. MVP unable to get any kills. We do have a buyback. Do we have to relocate in? That's the question. Or at least a recall. Yubu, is he bringing in? Yes. Looks like Fabi has brought it. Oh, get to another team. MVP just on a train wreck right now. Get me off of this train, please. Dang, looking for more. Yep, he's also gonna be dead. Bro, so he's gonna find him. I do believe another hero has been called in. That is Kyo. Kyo's in there again. This still pony is going to work, but I don't know about this. Ryzen giving him a little bit more juice to work with, but that's not the target that you can kill. Oh, Burrow Strike coming in. Ryzen Ready. will die before he relocates back down. I say that though, it looks like he's fine. Kyo gets one kill, and they get out. Look, that team fight, or at least that half, second half team fight, when the uh, Warriors game is a little too far ahead. Like, every time, as long as the spells are full down, for the team fight, they can still win. Like, we just saw MVP Phoenix. This is just them, typical. And back in. They might need to call, recall him back in pretty much now. Dubu in a very awkward spot. He's gonna get recalled right now, but Apu's already in there. In fact, that might work out here for MVP. No, he dies. The recall does not come through. The rock's gonna fly down. Baylor's in a lot of trouble, but in further trouble, it's Fabi who dies yet once again. He goes for X Nova. But okay, the team gets bouncing back, slowing down with him a little bit. Vela still going hard for the kill. She will get it. Mew on the back line looks like Ryzen has brought down. So Vela popping the next for himself, but he's also gonna go down. He almost brought Nana down, but it's not going to be enough. The electric pony, unable to join the fight. Instead, we'll be going to uh, top lane. Uh-oh. I think he might be dead here. At least, at least uh, his Aegis. Oh, well, maybe not die block eating. Right, so the stun misses it just barely, but the kick coming up to Aku, and the Takum should cut down Kyo. Like, He's got Yos. He's got Yos. Oh, that'll be no. the Aegis down. Yep, that'll be Jump for everyone. And that'll be the you know, pony down. Yos? Right, Kyo, that's kind of everything being killed out. Kyo will be All demolished right. by the whole of Warriors gaming. Well, okay, Crimson. I mean, again, is, is Crimson doing a lot of this game? I don't know. No, yeah. absolutely not. Middle lane, jump for Velo. Middle yeah. lane, everyone to get the kick, to get the first back, to get everything. And not a chaotic offering around as well. They want to kill the Crystal back. And they, get and they will. Oh, no, he actually misses off the relocate. Ryzen yeah, Ryzen, Ryzen just left. What happened? The bus is gone, and now Ryzen is back in this fight. Oh, they are dropping the old Kyo in the middle of everything. Does he have Yoshi's up? He does. They need a little bit more backup. Pearl Strike will hit, and Kyo will side. Question mark. It's not going to be enough, baby. Now needs to run. Well, that will be the end of that fight. The question is, how many more will MVP lose on the way out? Bevy saving himself a little bit. Dubu getting gone on and, and that rock, just so good. It's only how these squishy supports. Bevy dropping very low on the left side. Gets off a two-man crush. They get up. Okay, that's one kill. In fact, he will be fine. And keep in mind the respawn time. Very, very, very sad as everything which can go wrong is going wrong for MVP. Yeah. Shotgun. Oh my god. I did. Can he kill Kyo? Maybe not with Nana here. He's strength morphing right now, but they really need that amplified damage. Of course, we have Lotus Orb kind of helping out and taking off. Ryzen coming through. Watch it. Oops, for the second one, that is going to hit Fabi. Crush. I mean, it's getting close. Waveform to the right side. They still have vision on him, and Velo there. Kind of sealed the deal, and that's a big kill. Wicked Six Street for a 700 gold kill on Velo. Call him in. Uh, we shall see. Okay, we'll go from the side, they'll go for a strike, catch him to kill, they lay down the chaotic off the lane. Going on to two heroes, actually now pop the BKB, relocate out nicely down the rise of the time. Velo, he's going ham, he wants to go all the way forward, he go to the nasal group. Oh my god, Velo, can he actually kill anyone here? He's not killing anyone. Well, he's shot, he's got the light though. 
He is zoning everybody out, and that means they could actually go for Ajit in the beginning of the fight. I see done here, and now it's gonna be MVP. This is what they want to happen. Run at people, and hopefully run them down. Nana's dropping pretty slow, but he's actually gonna get a lot of regen. Hero's actually gonna go down. A lot of his stats is gonna be reflected back by the Lotus Orb. And now Hero, he's the only one man alive, at least in the front line. He's dropping very low. He gets one kill. The crush is gonna come through. Velo's got a ton of regen. Maybe, maybe he'll survive this, but he gets yield up. Burrow Strike is gonna be there. And despite that team fight starting off okay, playing as well as the Sanko oh, comes with heavy, heavy, going hard in. The Suns did not hit him, Burrow Strike Harper will. Disaster. Uh oh. Heavy, something pretty low. The shotgun Dubu again deleted for the third time in a row. Question is, where is the electric point? He's in the middle of the fight. Oh, he gets Warlock though, but look at that AoE damage! Alright. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure that Link is not the item, but Milo? Gonna go in. This is the team somewhere. Okay, Slaughter's giving some work as well. Three for two X exchange so far. They prevented from Roche from happening. Roche strike will come through and uh, Warframe re-engages Febby. Quite in a lot of trouble. Pangar keeping him alive. Okay. Ajit now being poked at us. In fact, the Morphling Ajit is getting outright with by Velo, at least at this point in the game. Five oh, backs coming out. Double five backs coming out. This is top. They need to make sure that MVP don't get the road. If MVP don't get the road, this will be really, really sad for them. Ah, uh, and then MVP get it. Okay. Nana's gonna try and burn something. Really? Nah, he won't commit. Big innovative with his itemization. Like, they... To itemize according to what each need to do, but enemy Burrow Strike on the back one to kill immediately destroyed. There was an Aegis warning for one second, and now Ryzen tries to reload the out, unfortunately wasted, so there is no reload chain, no safety option. And meanwhile, below the back line, the Shrek due to Aku, Kyo getting crushed, I mean, the stun onto Nana, full snap forward, getting to the Timbers off, Burrow Strike flooding two men, and actually, oh, do we really have enough? MVP actually winning this fight, but just barely. The Fatal Bond is actually proving too much for them. Yeah, I mean they won the team fight because of the ages. I mean you call it a one team fight, they got one kill. Uh, and Velo is going for the tower, and it's actually oh, hold that thought here as uh, Kudo in a lot of trouble. Shotgun coming back on cooldown. It was being used defensively. They're killing him back up right now. He blinks away. Nice to be done, but he's stuck in the trees. Okay, the tree gets destroyed. Velo in the front line. He doesn't have the BKB anymore, but Mech is available. MVP kind of reset, re-engage to you, will die to more once again, shotgun gonna drop him down. And now, re-engage, okay, Kyo now bursting a lot of damage on Kang. Nana's taking quite a bit as well, they get two kill. And Kyo all of a sudden on a killing spree, they want, they are somewhat slowed down. They see Ajit, are they gonna, actually gonna get killed? Mule's gonna set him up in the air. Link stun and Ajit say, ah shit, as he's gonna go down. Oh MVP on a triple kill able to force back the buyout from the Morphling. That was a really big kill. That's a couple yeah. Febby. Oh, we better see that buyback right now, or that tower is going to be going down to die boss either quite soon. Kyo did not get linked up, and that's key, but Febby did. Febby's like, no, not like this, Febby. Oh, the tower. Oh, oh, they oh, 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 yeah, they for the team, please. Mech's gonna fly out, but the, oh my god, the combination, and Kyo all of a sudden down to about half HP. They need to get back, he yields himself up, can he blink? No, he can't, still pull down. And ooh, we all keep defensively, he is out of there. No MVP, they will probably bring him back, but I, I really hope they don't. Yubu will try to survive as long as possible. Maybe, maybe they are gonna bring him back, that's the question. He's running towards the relocate. Is Kyo back in this? You betcha that he is. He's seen it, he sees Nana, Nana will get themselves hell out of here. And now Velo's on the chase. First hit dash because that's how we play Dota. Sun will come through and Kyo will get the kill on Nana as well. Oh, and will come back in. Waveform coming in as well. Velo popping his DKB and now he's man fighting against Kang. Kang dropping very low, very fast, but they don't have protection anymore. Velo now running on the left and then Electric Pony on the right side. Sees Apu. Look at the AOE damage from the Disco Pony. He's turning everybody low. He will get one kill. Shotgun dropping him somewhat low. He yields his cooling down 8, can he survive 8? I don't think he can. It looks like he will die. Kang barely surviving the team fight. MVP will die. Be on Velo. So, you can see the strengths of MVP's draft. Oh, try for Brotec. Mirror just messed up. Velo, get the double stuns up. But Morphe shotguns IO. So these pushing supports constantly getting sniped out by Ajit. Yeah, needs to get some hood. Ajit does have his ult out and he will use it right. pretty much immediately. And he's home. He's gonna BOT back in. I think he's gonna fight. Yeah, he's gonna BOT back in. Can they find the Cobble finally? Kuro 
was set up near the last one of the DKB is going to try to go banana and look at how he's living over it and it crashed the stun onto that and now it comes to the three heroes and they get a fade of one yes they will but the back is like he has enough damage no time to go not find the stun no mana wall up to find the kill and now Ajit is going to start racking on Velo but this very very tanky whistle back it's a game maybe I don't know if we can tank all of this, so because Mortal Plane Shotgun is already promoted, or pretty much soon. Velo dropping a half HP according to me. He's gaining a lot back. Tanky, but I think they're going to be able to chase him down, especially with Mana. Using Rolling Death, that he finally goes down. Double kill on the Mortal Plane. Dobu, the only one surviving. Guess what? There's an illusion following Dobu. Not like this. Are we going to see the Mortal Plane get oh, hit? No. Benja, Shotgun, reloaded. Bang. Triple kill on Arjun. This time, he will not be OT home, but... Cubic for WT Unity. They can actually take this lane of rats. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. Girl Strike finding Q.O. If Q.O. dies here, I don't know. Shotgun, and that's just further and further away from off the ring. Oh, he, he will have buyback, but if he buys back now, he might hold your Rex. He might hold the... Actually... No, the Rex is gone regardless when he buys back. Yeah, they still tier 2s, but they hold. we see. Maybe. Yeah. But if they, if they fight, they, they have to win the fight convincingly if they are to go for the next objective. They can't just narrowly win this, and they need they need to go. Alright, Fabby's gonna get Burrow Strike, he's uh, linked like up with this, Velo. Fabby. BKB is on Velo right now, and he's looking to map by actually Fabby being kept alive thanks to the IO. In fact, they do get one kill, and they're chasing the other, and now Kuo buys back. He sends blood in the water, Ajit though still bursting people down left and right, he gets the one kill. They do lose the Timberstall on the way out, so... Uh, two for three, two for two, with the buyback involved. They need to get a couple more. Like you said, they need to win a very decisive Happy fight. Center. Kang Ooh, coming back. Oh, nicely done by Kuo. Now he goes the other way, but there's no way they can actually kill him, right? He's got Burrow Cut, right? He's four staff out, no scepter, and he is able to gonna make it home. Meanwhile, on the back line here, Kuo's dead. Or sorry, not Kuo's dead, but Io's dead. Blinking on the right side is Kuo, but the Burrow Cut will hit him, and they're chasing Kuo. Like, why on right? They want to keep sticking on it, but you all Kang. Being slowed down as well. There's the Abyssal. They do get the one kill kill. Nicely dodge here. He needs to blink away. It is on cooldown, but the shock is gonna be here. Oh, Look at the damage output from the small blink. Velo himself against the world. Yobu is alive. He needs to come in and start mana leaking, but unfortunately, he mana leaks himself as well. BKB being somewhat alive, but Ajit shotgun up in five seconds. Abu burning all of his mana. Abu, or sorry, not Abu, Dobu. He's gonna be dead. And Velo is going to try and run away. That 3v2 is now 3v1. And oh my god, it's 2v1, sorry. And that's where you see Nana to the Roche pit, but it should be down by then. There's Warriors well. giving you some keys, I think. Velo is charging in. Oh, the Pearl Strike soft and strong. Once we get the agent. And there's no way you take this fight, right? Yeah, yeah you have to back off right now. But Velo all alone. Did we have to use the defensive Velo kit for him? Well, on the back line, Kuo actually forces out a rock, but it's only he's under the siege of a rock and Tang. He's trying to run away, but I mean, under the shock drum, relocate defensively? Yes! They actually get him out to the base. Milo, can he actually survive this law? I don't think so. And that means they're gonna lose Io on the way out as well. Meanwhile, looks like something got shot on Febby. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Bebby, Dubu, and Ryzen are not having a fun game at all. And once again, another snipe, Ayo goes down. And beyond godlike streak for Ajit as... This is basically his game right now. He he just goes around, they can't kill him. In MVP, yeah, they've they had GG. enough. They've batted enough. I, I already think the GG was when they lost the Rex. But they still gave it a couple of fights. Uh, definitely commend MVP for their effort in this game. And honestly, they came very close. Like that, that fight near the uh, Roshan pit, where they kind of turned thing around and, and killed Morphling and even went up to the high ground. I thought for a second there, MVP had a chance. And then reality struck. And uh, Ajit came out with a shotgun and they went did. to work. And maybe overextending in a couple of fights. Like Warriors Gaming, 